Well, the most surprising thing about our next invention is that you can't see it. Or at least, sometimes you can't. Now, you might think that your eyes are playing you up here, so just have another look. Here, you have a printed sign, and on the other side, a transparent window. But I assure you, there is no TV trickery going on. Just some rather dotty ingenuity. In fact, this material is covered with a series of tiny black dots. And from a distance, they merge to give a shaded effect, just like the even tinier dots that you find on newspaper pictures. So it looks like a tinted window. But turn it over, and the dots are a different colour. In fact, several different colours, which creates the effect of a sign. And this material was originally developed for squash courts, so that from the player's point of view, it looks like a normally marked court wall, whilst from the outside, spectators and TV cameras can see straight through it. Now, to achieve that effect, you need two layers of dots printed exactly on top of each other on the same side of the material. Transparently obvious, perhaps, but very difficult to achieve, because even the best screen printing techniques can't get two layers of dots exactly on top of each other. What you get is this rather hit and miss result. So how has it been done? Well, that is something of a trade secret, but I can give you a hint. What the inventor, Roland Hill, did was to first print the bottom layer of dots, which in this case are the black ones. And then, having done that, rather than trying to match up the second layer of white dots with them, these white areas were printed solidly. He then devised a way of removing what wasn't wanted so that only the dots were covered. So, now you see it. Now you don't. Look at that. Now this is, this is a remarkable, isn't it, how you can see straight through one way and, and not the other. This, I believe, has, has, has taken really quite a long time, hasn't it, to develop it like this? Yes, we originally developed the, uh, what is now the National Squash Court. And uh, it took a long period of time uh, at looking at the white on black process that we've seen before I realised that if we coloured the dots differently, we'd have a much more commercially viable invention. And uh, it all depends, of course, on having the dot on dot registration. I see. I mean, that, that's one of the... That's an example of one using full colour printing. And uh, so on each of the basic black dots here, there are a lot of little coloured dots. And it's the sort of thing that might be used, for instance, on the outside of a restaurant to identify it as a restaurant. But the people who are inside the restaurant can see through uh, to the street scene outside. Um, besides the one-way effects, there are a whole host of properties that uh, can be used. Uh, this is an example of a design which says something to one side, uh, but you read something from the other side which is completely different in an overall transparent panel. Um, it's not only in visual things that uh, we're using it, we're finding that even things like security printing, the fact that it is virtually impossible to print uh, in this way, means that it's very difficult for somebody to forge a document that's been produced by this technique. As long as you hold on to the... Well, even when we've done it, we can't put another dot exactly on the ones that are here. So it's something that can be done on one go, but then cannot be reprocessed. Well, very best luck. Thank, Thank you very much indeed, sir. Thank you. And finally, the invention that you can't see until you want to. No, it's not done by mirrors, but by dots. The tinted effect of this plastic is actually created by a series of tiny black dots. And if I turn that around, you'll see that they've been printed over by colours to produce a picture. Now, this is the first time it's been possible to print two layers of dots exactly on top of each other. And if I compare this to the best screen printing techniques, you can see that this looks rather messy in comparison. How this is done is a closely guarded secret. But over the past year, the inventor Roland Hill has managed to sell that secret and the manufacturing rights to licensees in North America, Western Europe and Japan. And he'll now earn royalties on everything they produce teams have been set up to market the invention and mass production is likely by the end of this year. 
Potentially, this could earn millions, as it seems as if there's no end to all the possible uses. And not just in office partitioning. For safety's sake, as this can be used on both sides. Or even in shops, where a camera could be hidden behind what looks like a picture to keep an eye on shoplifters. But perhaps the most important future use is in advertising. For when the customer needs a clear view, but the advertiser has something to say. And it's ideal for use on cars, not just for customising or advertising, but if you feel that your car is worth stealing, then this would be the ideal deterrent. Because if anyone wanted to remove the plates, they'd also have to remove the entire rear window. And what about all those stickers that we put on the windscreen? In fact, the inventor says that whenever he talks to anyone, they give him yet another new idea. So that's why he and his licensees see a clear road ahead. There are some tremendously encouraging success stories there. As you can imagine, picking an overall winner from those first ten years was a, a daunting task for the panel of judges. What they were looking for was someone who best demonstrated the ideals of the award, someone who had taken an idea all the way from the original concept and built a successful commercial venture. Eventually, they chose two. And this is the first of those two winners, chosen by the judges as the innovation with the most potential for the 90s. It's the magic, now you see it, now you don't, window. It was made possible when Roland Hill invented a way to print two tiny dots exactly superimposed on each other. And by making them different colours, one side can appear like a clear tinted window, or both sides could contain different messages like this. Well, over the last few years, the company has identified over 200 new applications and developed a way of allowing two different images to be seen from the same side, depending on whether the background is light or dark. Well, as we've already heard, the idea has now been licensed around the world and is in use by major companies from British Airways to Japanese Railways, where the material's recently been fitted to train windows. This is a truly ingenious invention, and one I think that we're likely to be seeing a great deal of in the future. Very astutely, the inventor, Roland Hill, realised that he could never fulfil the product's potential by trying to set up manufacturing companies himself. So he has opted to licence the idea to large printing companies. How many licensing deals have you set up so far? In, initially, we licensed Europe, North America and Japan, where they've done a lot of product development work, such as this laminated glass car sunroof. We're now in the process of relicensing Europe, seeking new partners, with whom to work, and also Australia, Hong Kong, and elsewhere. We're hoping that uh, the promotion of the invention will be as assisted by using the product on the outside of the British Pavilion at Expo 92 in the form of a, of a very large Union Jack. Well done. Well, maybe I'll be able to see it, you never know. Right. Anyway, the judges felt that Roland Hill's invention has the greatest potential for growth in the 90s.